In the Leander Liberty Hill area, you'll see signs like these in almost every neighborhood. This area has a bunch of Trump supporters and we need to band together. John Brannigan has his Trump flag proudly waving on County Road 279. I get comments all the time, love the flag, love the sign. And just two minutes down the road is Christine Mann with signs of her own. Some call it a rare sighting in a majority Republican town. Wanted um, the other few Democrats that are around here to know that they have friends. After Christine posted her signs on X, formerly known as Twitter, she was challenged by people saying Texas homeowners associations don't allow political signs. Some neighborhood HOAs have rules which try to prevent this kind of activism. HOAs um, tend to exert their pressure and their authority. But in Texas, state law supersedes HOA regulations. The law says HOAs must allow homeowners to display political signs if they choose at least 90 days before Election Day and 10 days after. And in this political climate, experts aren't surprised that voters are proudly voicing their political affiliation. The one thing that we do know is that these candidates elicit strong reactions from voters on both sides of the political aisle. And the proof of that? Christine and John both tell me they've had their signs attacked in the past. We had a yard sign, a roadside sign up, and someone put a noose on my roadside sign. We've actually had two signs stolen. Christine and John might not agree on politics, but they do agree their signs aren't divisive, but rather a way to make others feel seen and heard. I think that when people put indicators of their political beliefs, it's actually opening a door to have conversations. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.